In the beginning, men and women were created in the image of God. This is what is recorded in Genesis chapter 1. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. We are created in the image of God, but if we act like animals and chase after the image of celebrities, swimsuit models, famous sports athletes, and all those sorts of people, we will not be in the image of God anymore. We will be in the image that the world is creating us to be. Many people are chasing after the image of the world. Women have a certain idea, a certain image that they need to be, and they become that image. And men also have a certain image that is promoted by the world that they want to be, and they become that image. This is the image of the Antichrist. It's the Antichrist agenda. And I want to read to you what is recorded about this in Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 14. I'm going to start in verse 9. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image, and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. If we take on the attributes of the world, if we look towards the image that the devil wants us to be, then we will no longer be in the image of God, but we will be following Satan to hell. Make sure that you are looking into the eyes of Jesus Christ and that you are looking to his image and becoming his image. Don't be like the world who has a false image and that is following their father to hell. May the grace of Jesus be with you.